Hello and welcome to Beyond the Lens. Sorry I haven't been around for a few weeks, but I've been really busy building a broadcast control room in my church. I'll put a link in the description. In fact, I'll put a link up here now. Haha, -ha, magic of uh, television there, or internet, or interwebs, or video, whichever you like. Anyway, back to the task at hand, which is a tutorial on how to blur someone's face out. So, as always, I've got uh, Premiere open here, and I've got a clip already selected. That's of me on another tutorial. We'll drag that into the timeline. Holding the Alt key, and click on your bit of footage. You can drag that up and it copies it exactly. Cool. Now what we need is to mask out my face. So what we're going to do, you can either go Control T or go to Title, New Title, Default Still. And we'll call this Blur. And there's me. Isn't that nice? So I'm going to go to the Ellipse tool and I'm just going to drag that over like that. And remember, try and keep as close to the size of the person's face that you're blurring out. Otherwise, it looks a bit silly and you just try to keep tight, as they say. Let's bring that down a little bit. There we go. And up a little bit there. We can close that now. Now we can drag it to our timeline and we'll just extend that so it fills the whole frame. Now we will select video 2 and we want to go to effects. Let's go to our effects control there. And the first one we want is to blur it. So let's go type in there blur and there we are Gaussian blur which is what we want. So drag that, you can either drag it onto your timeline or you can drag it up to the effects control plane. Now you notice it isn't blurred out, that's because blurriness is zero. So we shall blur this out to let's say about 70, uh, 90% there we go. And also you'll see that it's not blurred around the edges, so we're going to repeat to edges. The next one we want is our track mat. And there it is, track mat key. Again, drag it to there, or you can drag it to your timeline. Now, if we click where it says mat, click on it and choose video 3, and voila! There we go. Now we have the fun bit of keyframing. So we click on our blur. Now, use double click on your screen so it actually brings up a box around it. Then go to your motion and you want to click on the position position stopwatch. So we just go we just move it along using your left and right key. You can move the frame along and you'll see that I start moving. So we just move this cover between the ears again. Try and get that right. Now I'm doing this quickly. Usually I would do this frame by frame, but for this tutorial I'm doing it a bit oh, I've moved out too far there. I'm doing it quickly. So remember, when you're doing this for your own projects, do it frame by frame. Don't just jump forward. Take time over your edits, because you, you, you may have a brilliant film, but if you don't take time over your edits, then and really pay attention to each little detail, it won't be all that great. So there we go, you can see there. I think I'm just about there. Now we'll just do a quick just render that quickly. And 
and there we go point to that it's blurred out nicely hope this was helpful and if you like it hit the like button and thumbs up button and whichever and uh, subscribe for a tutorial every Thursday every week take care have a great weekend